the Kenyan armed forces was captured as early as 1963. Just even before independence, the Kenyan armed forces had already been structured by the British, by the Americans, and by the Jews, the Israelites. The Israelites were the first people to build their embassy in this country. You can imagine they laid a foundation, a stone foundation for their embassy, even before we got our independence. So, since then, the Kenyan armed forces has always been controlled by the British, the Americans, and the Jews. You can imagine that in 1973, we are already, we, we are not even 10, 10 years, eh? we, we, we had not even gotten to 10 years after independence, we are still 10 years young, and you are already being considered to participate in UN missions in Israelites to fight against the Palestinians. You can imagine that. Even the Jews went ahead, the Israelites, the Zionists went ahead to set up a detention camp in Kenya for those who were being arrested in Israelites, those Palestinians who are fighting against the Jews who were trying to occupy the Golan Heights. Those were early years, man. So when I say that the Kenyan military is controlled by the British, by the US and the Israelites, this is what I mean. They are the ones who determine the type of military equipment we should have. They are the ones who determine who is going to sell to us or where are we going to purchase these military equipment. They are the ones who determine the number of personnel we should have in the military. That is the reason why, until now, since, since independence, since 1963, till now, we, we don't have even 30,000 armed forces personnel. We don't have, they are not even 30,000. They are something like 24,000, you can imagine. With the entire population, we have more than 50 million people. And our armed forces has been kept low, 24,000. When we have so many youth yearning to get into this position to defend their country. Ah, now, here is another way to look at this. Why do they keep our military so low? Because they want to control. The armed forces are meant to defend the country against external threat. So tell me, if the same external threat is part of our military, then how are we going to defend ourselves against those threats? You cannot tell me that the British have been in Kenya to train our soldiers for all these years, almost 60 years. They are still training our, our soldiers. What is this thing that they keep on training us that the soldiers cannot even grasp and transfer the same knowledge to those who come after them? Those are the things we should look at them as Kenyans and think. Because these people control key strategic industries, key strategic ministries. And if we don't see and look into things clearly, we are going to lose this country. We need to stand up. We need to think. We need to look at the information. We need to analyze it and prepare on how we are going to handle these people. These people, they control everything in this country. Right now the minerals are going free. The airport is taken. What else do you, do you have as Kenyans? Nothing is left. We need to look for strategies on how to fight.